Hello, welcome back. I just thought I'd uh, wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if uh, I don't see you over the New Year. Going to see family, busy times and all that. So I hope you have a great one. Uh, this video I wanted to talk about most of us that use high-end VR with base stations. Uh, we don't really think about them. I did... Uh, the, I bought one because I wanted to see uh, my last video I tested if one was you know, sufficient or if you needed more. Um, but then it got me thinking, what happens if these fail? Seeing as Valve's like, exiting the base station VR market, the only other manufacturer that I know is HTC. So what happens if they stop? making them too because you know these are you know they've got moving parts in them they will fail eventually um so and i don't see a lot of people talking about it so the big question if you're buying into lighthouse vr today going into 2026 are you comfortable with that risk and if valve fully exits who should take over? And if it's just a temporary gap, you know, maybe Valve will come out with a new headset that uses uh, base stations. Maybe they do a premium steam frame. Who knows? It's all up in the air at the moment. But I thought we'd, I, I, you know, I, I just wanted to talk about it. So let's discuss. So once Valve have you know, made their last one and HTC have made their last one. At the moment, there doesn't seem to be a company in the wings waiting to come up and step up and, you know, make them. Is there a market for them? You know, is this the end of base station tracking, the best tracking, in my opinion? I'd like to talk about it, you know, in the comments, your thoughts, um, what headset you've got, how long you've had, how long have you had your sensors? What ones are they? I mean, there's version one, version two, there's HTC ones, there's Valve's version, you know, and there's a lot of us that have them. So what we're going to do when they start failing, it's a worrying thought. People in the comments in a few of my videos have asked me and uh, I wish I had a crystal ball to be able to tell them, you know, oh, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. But, you know, we don't know. So all of these high-end headsets going to be literally obsolete and useless in years to come. So yeah, and, and if you're going to buy a, a headset that requires base stations, it's not really reassuring, is it? Thinking, you know, in a few years, you may not be able to get a vital part of your setup that you need for it to actually work. I think this is where inside out tracking is going to take over. I mean, it is good, but it's nowhere near as good as the, you know, the like the laser precision of the base stations. So, coming out of 2025, going into 2026, are you going to be buying a uh, lighthouse-based VR headset? Do you think it's a long-term safe bet? And if Valve do, which I think they will, just step away from manufacturing them, who should take over? I mean, as far as I'm aware, it's only Valve and HTC that make them. I may be wrong. Um, there may be somebody watching that's in the industry, works for Valve, works for HTC. You know, are there any plans moving forwards for these companies? You know, it's, um, it's, it's worrying me more and more every day. But, you know, I, I'm a lowly VR user. What do I know? <laughs> so yeah I'd like to know your thoughts drop them in the comments just have a discussion about it who knows we may get a company that thinks hold on I can make some money here because you know there's a lot of us who knows so yeah this is a real issue Lighthouse VR and it's amazing precision but it's also like one single point of failure your base station stop working, your headset's useless, you might as well use it as a doorstop. 
if production slows down or stops, then the prices will just rise, making it even more expensive. The used market, always messy. And that's not really a great long-term long story uh, for premium VR. So what do you think would happen next? HTC would continue like low volume production, maybe. Uh, Valve may license the uh, technology. Who knows? Then a third party could step in. Uh, or does high-end VR just continually move away from base stations? And, you know, is this the, the beginning of the end of base station VR? It's quite sad to think, really. I mean, what should the existing users do, really? Um, I, I wouldn't say panic buy, but maybe buy one or two, maybe. <laughs> just Just for a backup. Uh, look after the ones you have. Use sleep power options, powering them down rather than leaving them running all the time. Uh, you know, factor replacement issues in if you are buying a headset that needs them. Uh, especially if you're new to lighthouse based tracking. You know, would that put you off buying a headset? If you could only use, you know, if... If, if you can't find any base stations, then is there much point buying one? It's a question that needs to be asked. I hope Santa brings you everything you asked for. And you have a great New Year's. Thanks for all the support. I've only been doing this just over a month now, but the support's been absolutely phenomenal. It's made me actually want to do YouTube full time for a living because it's actually fun talking about stuff you care about. So, yeah. Have a good end of year. I wish you all the best. Give us a like and subscribe if you like this type of content. And I'll talk to you soon.